there is a trend towards SIPs, 11,000 crores of monthly inflows we are seeing and uh, Indians are leaping up a faith in putting their savings in the growth assets like equity, equity mutual funds, hybrid equity, etc. Do you think it is the simplest but yet most powerful tool for long-term wealth creation? I, I think unequivocally, yes. If you had to ask me, perhaps the best thing that the mutual fund industry has created, I think it is the tool of SIP. And it is for many reasons. One is I think it cultivates a sense of habits and habits cultivate a sense of discipline. So you are forced to save and you are forced to invest and you are forced to do it regularly. And once it becomes a habit, you know, people don't realize that they start a little SIP and 10, 10, 15, 15 years ago, they have a house SIP. And it is all the result of a habit. So one, I think it is a good reason because of the habit. Second, it is good because there is a myth that to start investing, you have a lot of money. You know, we, we quote big numbers that, you know, Warren Buffett made this or Rakesh Chandranwala made this. But the fact is that today you can start investing in the best Indian companies with a very small quantum. Many of us are salaried people and people have various expenses and there's so much you need to do to make the basics meet. But investing can start with as little as 500 rupees in an SIP. I think that is the second most powerful thing. The third powerful thing about an SIP is, you know, there is always this question, ke market ka kya lagta hai? when do I invest in the market? Market mein acha time hai ya bura time hai? And I believe most people are terrible at timing the market. You know, there will be someone who, you know, came to me, I think market was, index was at 17,000. And that person came to me and said that if I know that the Nifty is going to go to 12,000 from 17,000, then should I sell all my money and invest again at 12,000? And I told them two things. I said, firstly, if you know that, you are far wiser than me. So you should not be coming to me for advice. Secondly, you know, would you have the courage when the market fell 30% and the news said all red, stocks are down, India ka kuch nahi hone wala, we are all very sentimental people. Would you have the courage to invest then? Chances are no. So SIP takes out this whole market timing. In the cycle of investing, SIP is invest, 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 invest. Um, and you stop worrying about what happens when the market falls or when the market rises. So, and sometimes I think we underestimate the investment returns from SIP. You talked about SIP in an equity fund. I do an SIP in a uh, dynamic asset allocation slash balanced advantage fund, which is essentially a combination of equity and debt. So it's a conservative product. My SIP returns for the last, six, I think, seven years are about 15% CAGR. I have done nothing. I have not done anything. You know, people assume if you are in the investment industry, you are glamorous. You will have fancy alternative assets. You will keep moving your portfolio. In March 2020, I did nothing. I just let my SIPs continue. And as a result of the SIPs, you know, I was looking at this and suddenly I'm sitting at 15% CAGR without stress. So I think simple stress-free investing and I'm glad you asked this question because you can invest and lead a normal life and make meaningful returns by doing very simple things as a result of habits. And that is what your SIP is. And look, it's 11,000 dollars today. And the FM recently acknowledged that it's not foreign investors, but domestic investors that needed to be applauded. So, the small work is very far away. I have my SIPs, I have my asset allocation. I have my long-term investing. But okay. uh, Saurabh Bhai, I just want to say one thing about SIP. See, SIP is simple. SIP is common sense, as Radhika mentioned. But SIP mein agni pariksha bhi hai. In March 20, if you have seen our equity funds SIP return, for three years we had given negative return. For five years, we had given lower return than savings bank account. And for 10 years, our returns had come down by half comparable to bank fixed deposits. Many investors would have disappointed that kya performance hai, teen teen saal se paisa diya aur paisa kam ho gaya. 
But people who continued their SIP today are getting 15, 20, 25 percent return. People who topped up are getting 20, 25, 30 percent return. So do remember there is no free lunch. Risk and return go together. And kuch paane ke liye agni pariksha dena jaruri hai. Perfect. 